Yo, 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 what's up, Warriors and Wahines? You rocking with your boy Ryan Grice Mullins, and this is Mullin' Around. Check me out. Welcome to another episode of Mullin' Around. I'm here with Miss Courtney Gaddis, your senior captain of your UH women's basketball team, Courtney, and current Miss Alan Moana, if I do say. Congratulations on that. Thank you. So, um, you know, first I just want to know, tell me a little bit about how all that went. You know, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's exciting. You had your family there, friends. So tell me a little bit about that. Um, I kind of just ran in the pageant because um, you can qualify to get a medical school scholarship. Uh-huh. So I wasn't really thinking, like, you know, if you win, then you got to go on to Miss Hawaii. But was what was nice was that um, my whole team came out to support me. Nice. So that was cool that they were all there. And it was very nerve-wracking, but um, it was a good experience. It was fun. Good. I like it. So, Miss Hawaii coming up June 9th. You are excited about that? I'm excited, a little bit nervous, but excited, yeah. Okay, um, have you thought about what you're going to do for your talent? Is it going to be, you know, shooting three-pointers in a dress and heels or something like that? Or you got any ideas? Um, I thought about dribbling a few basketballs, but I don't know how that'll go along with the Miss Hawaii pageant. But um, I think I'm going to just dance hula. Um, you know, keep it kind of the island feel. I played piano at the preliminary, but I was a little bit too nervous, and I, I think that my nerves are going to get too much of me. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to dance hula. Last year, I know you was honored to do something pretty special that most people don't get a chance and don't have the guts to do, and which was donate your own bone marrow to a little boy to save his life. So tell me what that was like. You know, I mean, that was probably the most rewarding experience of my life. I mean, I didn't know I was going to get chosen and I'm just, I'm so blessed and I'm so happy that it was me that I could have been able to do that for him. And I actually recently received a card from him saying oh, that wow. he's doing good and he gets to play with his friends in kindergarten. So that was just really touching and I hope I get to meet him within the next year. Well, this one of the reasons that made you pursue your degree in medicine was um, kind of going through all this. Um, You know, since I was young, I've always wanted to go into the medical field. Um, This was just another step for me that even more motivated me me to be a doctor so I can help um, more people who are in need. And um, from here, I'm just waiting to see if I got into medical school, keeping my fingers crossed, and we'll see where it goes from here. Well, I'll definitely keep my fingers crossed for you. And if I have any word of trying to help you get in, I would do anything I can because I think your story and everything that you're doing is just pretty amazing. So you don't see a lot of athletes and a lot of people in general even going, you know, close to, you know, what you're doing and what you have done in your life. So I think it's pretty great. Thank you. Part of the reason for the match with the little boy was your unique ethnic background. Um, Tell me a little bit about that. So I am actually 12 different ethnicities. I'm Japanese, Chinese, Filipino, Portuguese, Hawaiian, Spanish, English, Irish, French, Scotch, American, Indian, Greek. So that's why I didn't think I was gonna be a match, but you know, honestly, it it, it kind of has a little bit to do with ethnic background, but it it's more about um, the cells in your body and tissue type. So yeah, I actually got to learn a lot about, you know, how the bone marrow matches are made through this whole thing, and it's really interesting. So I hear your specialty is shooting the three-pointer. How about a little game of pig? Were you up for the challenge? Mm, all right, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. All right, I ain't going easy on her either. So this one kind of don't count because I ain't really warmed up yet. But. Good game. He beat me. I did. You know, I lost a couple of the last battles. I wasn't losing again. But uh, I do want to give a special thanks to Miss Courtney. She's a great sport, great interview, great person, has a bright future ahead of her. And um, just congratulations and everything. And, you know, hope that you continue doing wonderful things. Thank you. Mulling around. <laughs>